Hello, everyone. In this episode, we are going to talk about communication between parent and child components by using regular parameters. What you're looking at is a standard Visual Studio template for Blazor server-side application. And I added a few components, but today we're going to look at the sales component, which is empty and the order entry component, uh, which is currently also empty. And in order to see them, they are both page components. And as you can see, I give them different rot and the page, the order entry uh, component uses the order slash order rot and the sales component uses slash sales rot. And in order to see them, uh, we are going to add the navigation links, copy two of them. And then this, I'm going to call it sales. And this, I'm going to call it order entry. And I'm going to change the rot to sales. And this is going to be order. And we, if we go back here and refresh, we're going to see sales and order entry. And what these two represent are the sales represents sales department and the order entry uh, represents the order entry de department. Both of them are page components. So um, as you can see, if you have many department, you might want to consider having this title part as a component by itself, right? So let's do that. Let's create a um, non-page component. And as you know, I have a habit of calling it controls, but you don't have to call it controls. And I'm gonna create a new component, razor component and call it, uh, title component. And this is a non-page component, so it doesn't have a rot. But what we are going to put here is we are going to go to the page component and copy one of them. Uh, it's basically this, right? And we're going to come over here and then we'll say, welcome to the, and we're going to change this part dynamically, right? So we're going to give it, um, we're going to give it a, a, a variable here in order to populate that. But it's not just any variable. It cannot be private a variable because this variable has to be available to the, to the parent component. So it has to be public. And in order to allow the parent component to access this variable, it has to be a special variable and uh, it has to be a property and it has to be a public property and we call it, uh, we can call it department, right? And here we have to use a parameter attribute to let later know that this property department is a public parameter that can be accessed from the consumer, which is the parent component. Right, and then we can use this over here, uh, or actually over here, and we can say department. Right, and then when we use that component in the parent component, we can do this as I have shown in the previous episode. Uh, we can use the child component as, um, uh, actually, uh, in order to do that, I'm going to import the uh, namespace, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to type in title component, which is right here. And as you can see, the parameter is right here. Okay, and then in this case, it is sales. Okay, I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to go over to order entry department and 
we we'll call it order entry. This way, when we go to our code and hit refresh, we're gonna have the sales and order entry department represented by our one component, our title component. And the good thing about that is if you wanna change the wording or the style or the theme or whatever um, of the title, you can change it from one place. Right, so we can go to our title component, and um, uh, if we want to add, uh, for example, we want to want it to be uh, uh, and scored, we can have this, and then when we go back, uh, refresh. As you can see, the underscore is right there. Right, if we want to change the font color to we actually change change to uh, header. If we want it to change the font color to blue, uh, dark blue, then we can change it to dark blue like this. And then we go back and we refresh. There we have it. Changing in one place, passing in parameters. So to sum to sum up, in order to pass a parameter from the parent component to the child component, we need to create a public property and decorate it with parameter attribute, and then we use our component child component in the parent by declaration. Um, and populate the parameter with the value that you want to use. All right, so that's the parameter, regular parameters to help you to communicate between the parent and uh, the child uh, to help the parent to pass information to the child. So this is the regular uh, component parameters. If you like this video, Please give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode where I'm going to talk about the routing parameters. Thank you very much for watching.